Welcome back to Hoochos. Today on Hoochos, I'm going to be reviewing this. This is the Hydroland 12 pod propagation system. It is a system that allows you to take plants from seed all the way through to edible salad or movable into a modular tower hydroponic system and will allow anyone to grow their own food in any living circumstances. Okay, so to be blunt, I've always thought of these systems as a straight up gimmick. Like no one is going to be able to grow any reasonable amount of herbs on their kitchen counter or wherever you have this device. That's why I kind of wanted to change the narrative. I don't particularly think that this is exclusively a countertop hydroponic system. I think it can be adapted into a very useful compact propagation system. What we actually have here that is very valuable is a lighting system and a watering system for a high density propagation area. Now, to take plants full term in these devices can be done for like, I guess, small leafy greens and herbs and stuff. However, the management of those plants is a bit too hands on and I would expect most of these devices to be shelved or put into a corner of the house where they gather dust. What I want to do with this device is to adapt it into something that we can use to propagate our seedlings for other systems. Now, I'm just gonna show you what's in the box so you have an idea. This is just a straight out of China kit that we've sourced and have determined that will be acceptable for the purposes that I'm adapting it for. In the box we have, just to start you off, we've got an A and B plant food. Uh, this will allow you to get out of the gate if you don't have any of the nutrients available to you. As with all post-friendly nutrients, they're just dry. So you can easily just swap these nutrients out for uh, the Campbell's Diamond Blue, which is a propagation nutrient, or the Diamond White, if you just want to buy one nutrient fits all. It comes with net cups and propagation dome. The net cups come with propagation plugs and we have an Australian adapter. So it's pretty simple. All we have is a lighting system, which is suspended above a reservoir with a pump. This is nothing special. You've seen a thousand of these before, but it will allow us to do some fun things like insert these these are net cups which i have designed to fit within this system as well as within our modular tower hydroponic system they're not included in the kit if you purchase it from hydroland because i've designed these separately so they're actually a 3d print as usual available on my patreon and they fit perfectly within the 3D printable modular hydroponic system. All right, so let's set up this system and I'll show you how it works. First of all, we're gonna need some hydroponic nutrient. So I think that the easiest way uh, to set up a system like this will be to fill up a watering can full of hydroponic nutrient. Cause this is nine liters and this is four liters. So it means that you'll be able to top up the system as it depletes if required. I'm gonna be filling it up with Campbell's Diamond Blue and Nitro Cal. So I'm just gonna measure that out. Pre-adjust my pH. We can take a pH and EC reading. So the EC is 1.44, pH of 5.7. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So, we are going to fill this system. Here, we have a water level indicator, and that's going to allow us to see how much nutrient is in the system, and essentially it's gonna be able to take four liters. So we're just going to pour this nutrient until we hit that max level. So now that we've got our 
pH balanced half strength diamond blue nutrient in our tank. I'm just gonna plug it in and show you what the pump and light look like. So I'm just plugging this in at the back. Okay, so I've just turned it on just to show you what the pump looks like. So what this is doing is it's aerating the nutrient solution. So this is a deep water culture system and the pump is essentially causing oxygen exchange on the top of the nutrient solution. If we move up here, we have a timer and clock arrangement. So uh, this is the clock, so you can manually change the minutes. So it's now 6.31, so I can change that to 6.31. However, it's uh, actually 24 hours. So we can hold that and we change it to the timer setting. So that'll allow you to set the time that it starts, then you set for how long it runs for. So you've got 12 hours, 14 hours, 16 hours, and 24 hours. So if you set it to 24 hours, it's just gonna run all the time, like so. Uh, but if you set it for 12 hours, it's gonna start whenever you set it and then run for 12 hours. Um, so I'll be running it for about 14 or 16 hours just to give them some night time. But yeah, that's how you set it so that you can have it running when you want and it's not impeding on like sleep if it's in a room near your bedroom. All right, so to the top of that, we just add on our cover and our refill cap. Uh, and that's the timer that I just set. So that was for 6.34. So that has now started. So that's gonna run for 16 hours. I'm actually quite interested to see what this par is like. That's not too bad at all, actually. All right, I'm gonna give you some readings, uh, some par readings. Uh, out of interest for myself as well. You're gonna wanna have this pretty much as close to the plants as possible. In the middle here, looks like six inches down a little bit. That is six inches, okay? So everything here is measured at six inches. 143 on the outside. 148. And in the center, we're getting a par of 186. That's a really nice seedling par, uh, but obviously you can uh, get that right up to, you know, if you get it really close, that's 350 par. I think that's the beauty of these systems. It's the fact that these lights are movable as you see the plants grow. So you can have the lights really close. Well, you wouldn't have them really close as the seedlings start, you'd have them about here. And as they start to mature, you move it closer again, and then follow the seedlings up as they grow. You got your cool white, your warm white, you got some red light, and you got some blue light in the middle there as well. And it's pulling from the wall 16.9 watts. Now that's with the pump running. So if I remove that pump, 15 watts. So that light's a 15 watt light. Let's fill up our net cups. I set up half the system with the net cups that come with the device and half the system with the net cups that I've designed to move over to the modular tower hydroponic system. I just added in planting plugs that come with the system. They're just made from a plant-based foam matrix and we have refills of these available in the Hydroland store. I've actually played with a couple of different methods using cocoa as well as rock wool. And these are actually the best way. They're kind of like an oasis texture to the blocks. I found they've got the best germination rate for this system. I added back in the nutrient. Now, before we start the time-lapse, I'm just actually gonna show you me taking the domes off once the seedlings had sprouted so that you know what size you wanna take the domes off. So once they've got their first two cotyledon leaves out, you take the domes off and that will give them airflow so that they can transpire and start to produce more and more plant material. So I changed my plan a little bit. I decided to set this system up in my laundry, not only for the fact that it's a wet room, but it also has white walls which reflect really well back at the sides of the system. So it's just going to recycle as much light as possible so that you know the plants are getting all of the reflected light back onto their leaf surfaces. So I've set up some time-lapse cameras and now we can see how they grow.
have a look at that result. This system has actually uh, exceeded my expectations. I take back that you can't grow enough salad to eat. Now, you may only get one or two salads out of this sized device, but there's a lot of leaf matter here. Like, let me just show you around it. Have a look at all of this lettuce that is just actually really healthy. And the light has done a really good job. I actually had it right up close. So I do recommend having it as close as possible to your plants. Look, even around the back here, we've got, it's just so healthy. All of the lettuces are just thriving. Now this is probably as large as you wanna take these lettuces because they're starting to drink a lot and I'm having to top this off a lot. From here, like they're already pretty much edible size, but we can just take out our plants like so. And these plants will fit directly into our modular tower hydroponic systems. And it'll be able to fit directly into our 3D printed towers like so. Now I just want to give you a quick look at this tower hydroponic system and how well it is doing. Like you can barely even see the tower under all of this green matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's just crazy. And we've got some more lettuce down the bottom here, some uh, strawberries. Quick tour of the greenhouse. And the NFT is doing absolutely incredibly at the moment as well. Um, it's a really full greenhouse. I'm really happy with it. Although I have spider mites, so I'm gonna have to deal with those very soon. Okay, so I wanna show you, lift this up as high as possible. And I wanna take these plants out and I'll just show you the roots. So let's lift it up like this and there. You can see how white those roots are. They are actually lovely. And you get a better idea of how much lettuce we actually have. <laughs> how good is that? <laughs> and if we have a look in the actual propagation system itself, you can see there's actually no algae build up at all. It's really well light insulated. So I'm actually extremely happy with how this um, grow turned out. And surprised to be completely honest, uh, this has turned out really well. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Who Chose. The 12 prod mini propagator is available on the Hydroland website. But if you're not in Australia, I'm gonna link a similar device that I reviewed by Letpot just here so that you can have a look at that one and see if that suits your purposes as well. Thanks for joining me today on Who Chose. Happy hydroponicking and I'll see you next time on Who Chose. <laughs> and back in she goes.